Welcome back to Agomenti, and if you're new here, my name is Tony. I make videos about Wizarding World news, merch, and events. So if you're into that sort of thing, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the latest video. So as you can see, I got something new in the mail. Who knows what it is? Oh wait, it says it right here. We got the brand new Firebolt. This isn't the Noble Collection one, which is made out of like resin and plastic. Um, this is almost entirely made of wood. The only thing that's not made out of wood is obviously the metal clasps and the um, footrests. Don't mind me being out of frame as I get this out of the box. A couple things to note, this came from France. That's where Cine Replicas is based and it cost 500 US dollars. The Noble Collection version, it retails for around $300, I believe. So you're gonna pay a premium to get an all wood version. So it's packaged very nicely. It has all the styrofoam surrounding every piece. Looks like you even get the little feather in here. So that's super cool little detail. They package that nice. We've got some instructions here on how to assemble. A little disclaimer letting you know that it's handmade. It reads, our fire bolts are handmade. They are unique and as a result, not one broom is identical to another. Rest assured that all are made with the same amount of attention and care. Sorry, I don't have an overhead shot this time around. Um, I still need to get that figured out, but this is what you would essentially see opening it up. Let's keep digging in. I'm gonna pull out the pieces one by one just so I don't have that giant box sitting right here and then I'll show you guys. Pulled this out. This seems like it's a metal piece. Let's check it out. It should be, I have the Nimbus uh, 2000, and this should be basically the uh, authenticity plaque with your number, and that's what it's looking like. So this is the limited edition Firebolt. It says, limited to 10,000 pieces worldwide. This handmade masterpiece is numbered 344 out of 10,000. So I got a really low number. I'm not sure if it's based on what time you ordered or if it's just randomized, but I, I like it. I like the number, three, 344. It would have been cool to have 444, but whatever, we got 344. I still have yet to actually unbox my Nimbus 2000. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. It's also from Cine Replicas. It's also entirely made of wood. I just don't have a spot to display it, and that's why I, I haven't really pulled it out. Okay, I'm not sure what this is, but we'll find out together. It's a tool. Nice little gold Allen wrench. Not sure if you can see that too clear, but nice little tool. I'm sure that's to screw the uh, handle into the actual bristles. Looks like this is gonna be a footrest. That looks about right. I love how well packaged this is and not only how well packaged it is, but the fact that the packaging has so much detail like it's, yeah, it's newspaper packaging, but all the print about like Quidditch on here is super cool. And obviously like this stuff you might not be able to make out, but you know, the items that are packaged flat, you can probably even like take some pieces and display this somewhere if you really wanted to. It's got information about the golden snitch and other little fun things that you can read on there. So this is one of the footrests, and I'm not gonna bore you with unwrapping the other one. It's gonna be obviously identical, but you do have your WB trademarks right up in here, and uh, I'll show you guys that a little closer up. We'll put this to the side. Okay, so I got the second footrest out. It's over here on the table now, and we're moving on to the bristles. One of the biggest concerns that I had just right now is how compact this is. You see how thin this is? I'm worried that I'm not gonna be able to spread out the bristles to make it look more movie accurate. Obviously in the film, they're super spread out, super like bushy looking, you know? Um, this seems like it's gonna be really tightly knit. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of that kind of a look. So fingers crossed that I am able to spread them out a little bit. We'll see. Wow.
it looks really cool. Wow, just like all the detail in the bristles. That's actually so cool. It looks like I might be able to spread them out a little bit, but do you guys see what I'm talking about when it's like, it looks a little too skinny? I need some volume up in here. I'm afraid that if I do try and pull on these that they might break. So we'll see, I might, I'm, I might do it, I might not. It's just super cool to have real bristles instead of the Noble Collection one where it's a bunch of plastic that's all wavy looking like spaghetti or something. But I will admit that theirs has a lot more of an ability to uh, spread out and, and make it look puffier. You've got the number plate on the very top, number 344. But so not only do you get a certificate of authenticity with your number, but your broom is also numbered. Before we move on to the handle, I know some of you may be saying, isn't this supposed to be silver and not like a gold? Well, I found out that they had probably several versions, whereas like in the movie, it's supposed to be more of a copper, less, less of a gold, more of a copper. Um, in some scenes, it looks silver, but they have a prop on display at the studio tour in London that you can actually tell it's actually like a copper, copperish gold and not a silver. But again, you know, personal preference, I'm sure that, you know, in universe, they made several versions of the Firebolt, one gold, one copper, one silver. So this is also the second time that Cine Replicas has made a Firebolt. So their first version had silver everything and those are out there on the secondary marketplace. So if you actually want that version, you might have to pay a little more, but they are out there. Now let's move on to the handle. Look at that. Wow. You guys, the detail on this is crazy. You wouldn't believe. Wow. The fact that this is like all shaped out of wood is so crazy to me. I hope you guys can hear that. Look at this handle. Wow. The details all throughout the bottom. I'll get it closer here. Look at those engravings. All right, I'm gonna put it all together and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. All right, I had to pull the table back a little bit so you guys can see the majority of it. Um, if I do put it down, you guys will be able to see the whole thing. So we could just do that. So I'm gonna say it one last time. For $500, they definitely could have made this a little bit bushier. I know in shipping, you know, you might risk losing a couple bristles, but it's too slim for me. I feel like even Matter of fact, I have the Nimbus 2001. Let's take a look. Here's the, here's the Nimbus 2001. Obviously it's plastic, but the 2001 is definitely not supposed to be puffier than a Firebolt, as, you know, as far as the film goes. But it's, I feel like it's thinner than this. You know what I'm saying? So that's my biggest complaint. I spent my own money on this, 500 bucks, and it's beautiful, but I wish it was thicker. We're gonna add the final touch. So, there we go. There's your feather. Cool little feature there. I like that a lot. What do you guys think? Am I being too picky about the bristles or could they have done it? Once again, this is the Cine Replica's new Firebolt retailing at $500. I got number 344. Let me know if you're gonna be picking it up or if you already did, what number did you get? Before you go, drop a like and please consider subscribing if you haven't already so you don't miss out on the latest videos. I'll see you in the next one.